Uh, today we're going to put together the modular 4x5 camera kit. We're going to start out with the body. This guy. It goes to two backs. There's a 135mm Optar back and a 127mm Ektar back. This is the 127mm Ektar. They pop together like this. They're symmetrical, so anyway, they pop together. Then you put a little weld on three in here. Now that, now that you've welded these two together, we're going to take the front helix and our 127mm Ektar. We're going to put them together, take the flange nut off, and we've got this component. This is the focusing helix. Stick this guy in here. Okay, now you've got this lens on here. Pay attention to which direction you have this depending upon how you want to uh, use your camera, but okay. I usually like to put the grip on this side and the focusing screen, uh, the, the film holder come out on this side, these guys on top. You need four M3 by 16 millimeter hex screws. The single tab goes on the bottom here, and Zach, you're gonna have the opportunity to get a bunch of artsy macro shots that you've been screwing. Beautiful. Now you want them to still be loose when you're screwed down. You don't want to tighten them all the way. Wait, that's too much. I can't move it. Back it off just a little bit until they move smoothly. Don't over tighten. Great. The lock with the three tabs that goes on top. This. So now those locks should slide up and down like that, tight, um, but move freely. Now we can go back to the front here. With the cold shoes on top, I align the text top up. Sometimes I like to put some crayon on the inside of these so it moves nice and smoothly. These brake shoes are inspired by the drums of the brakes of a Ford Focus wagon from 2003. And this is the focusing ring. It goes on top. Now we're going to have to align eventually these holes. You see this hole? Move that hole with this guy. And then this hole with the other guy. Stick this on. Then you want to look to make sure that you've got your holes aligned. 3 8 by 16 tripod screws. These will tighten and lock your focusing ring, but they can also be loosened to loosen the tension on the ring. So you need to move and then eventually lock. So it should move smooth like that. Give it a finder. Boop. I'm gonna give it a handle. I like to put the handle on this side. Two more of these large D-ring tripod screws. This handle like this. I have done this before. Okay, and I'm gonna take um, one of these PETG carbon fiber tripod adapters and put it on that bottom. Uh, it gives it a nice flat bottom for a tripod and then also because they're plastic threads, um, it allows you to replace those over time without having to wear out all of these threads on the camera. You know, rigging them like this, you don't use the threads over and over and over, um, but the tripod screw you might. 
All right, so that's uh, how I would like to build a single camera. Setting the camera aside for a second, let's take a look at the sheet film back. This back has two, three printed components. This one piece here, this riser piece, and then this sheet film adapter back. Um, it also has this frame. This frame. Uh, and it has this uh, ground acrylic laser cut. So the way this goes together is um, this thick side matches this side where the film holder enters and exits or the roll paper back. Um, and the thin side goes on this back here. I'm just gonna hold them together aligned so that this wall so that this wall and this wall are aligned and the hole on the inside is perfectly square. Put them together and just drip a little bit of weld on three between them. Oop. Give that a second to melt the plastic just at its surface and then squeeze them together and you'll make one piece of plastic out of two. Once that starts to set a little, I'm gonna do the other two sides. Try and do this in a way that you can see. And just feel on the inside to make sure that your hole is still registered. And one more over here. It's very thin and it'll just flow into the space between, melt the plastic, and then you can squeeze them together just like that. Okay, now here's the little bit of a tricky part. Uh, and this goes the same for all of the focusing backs and film adapter backs and uh, all, of, all of the backs. Okay, all of them align like this. And you glue this lock bar in. When you glue that guy in, you're gonna have to align it here. It's right above. Here's what I like to do. Dot right there. Put it about one millimeter above the hole. And just tack it on that corner. Now I can check, did I align it good? Yep, that's aligned. All right, and so now I'm gonna tack the other corner. And it's kind of the same thing as tack welding. It's just chemical rather than heat or electrical heat. Everything's thermomechanical. Okay, I like to get those two corners down. Let's see if we can focus up close. And check to make sure that they fit. Ooh, that's a nice snug fit in here. Right. That should fit on your regular crown graphic, speed graphic, whatever. It's a standard Graflex 4.5 mount. And I'll just run a gentle bead of acrylic cement Oops, along the edge of this guy. Clean as you can. Give it a second to flow, and then give it a little push down, and melt all the plastic together like that. Nice. We'll give this a little bit to uh, become tacky, double check it, and then set it aside to dry. Good fit, Ethan. And this assembly works the same for the sheet film adapter and these uh, macro adapters and all of the same, the focusing screens, they all work the same way. Once that's all glued up and dry, you can take your ground acrylic with the ground side down and just pop it in to this focusing screen frame. And then I like to hit it at the corners with a little drop of Weld On 3 uh, acrylic cement just to uh, just weld it in place like that. Then this guy goes here with the, uh, this pointy opening side out and then this flat side towards the, um, the square flange here.
And then you can tie these together with a square knot, right over left, left over right. Okay, and so this back, this sheet film back will work as a focusing screen for the Loma graph lock back and the self-developing back if you take this off and then put those backs on here. And it'll work as a focusing screen for standard 4x5 film holders if you leave the back on like this. Yep, cool. If you're not shooting standard film, files for a focusing screen. This is good for the Loma graph lock back and self-developing backs. And it goes on here. here.